Hey everyone, it's Trevor here at Deviant Inc. And we've had a lot of requests um, about how can we recreate the Muskoka Freerider wrap. So Matt uh, this year ran our overcast design. <laughs> Oh, the sled looks absolutely wicked. I gotta get loaded up quick and go meet the guys, but just... Um, you know, obviously through his, his sponsorship logos on there. So I'm gonna do just a quick tutorial walkthrough uh, using our online wrap customizer tool and show you how um, pretty easily you can, you know, recreate uh, that exact wrap or a version um, of the Muskoka Freerider wrap. So let's jump in. So, um, if you haven't been to our website before, deviantink.com, uh, Matt, the, the design we're going to do <clears throat> is the, this design right here. So this is his overcast design. He actually ran, um, he, he actually ran the overcast design on all of his machines. Well, that's a wrap. We just gotta go over the whole thing with the heat. Uh, this year, just different colors. It was a pretty sweet lineup. Um, but this is the saved uh, rendition of his uh, of his wrap. But we're going to start from scratch. So deviantink.com. We're going to hit the uh, the hamburger on the top left. We're going to hit snow Polaris. This is his Matrix 9R. So we're going to tap into the Matrix chassis. We could scroll down to find Overcast or just type it in <clears throat> in the search. Pull it up. Let this thing cook here for a minute. So um, this is <clears throat> just the stock, you know, way we are representing uh, this design on our website. On any of our designs, you can click the red customize button, which will take you into our online wrap customizer tool, tool where you can um, adjust colors, add logos, change colors of logos, change the size of logos, reposition, all, all the things. So. Um, what I want to do, I want to just get a base kind of black stocky look just to just to show a kind of a clean design. So I'm going to hit the accent colors button down in the bottom. I'm going to come in here, just drop everything into black, give me kind of a clean slate. That right there is pretty stealthy in and of itself, but we're going to uh, hit the wrap colors uh, button. <clears throat> the color that Matt went with is our turquoise color. So we will go to the turquoise and there we go. Now, if we just wanted his, you know, that's that same kind of look, but you know, no logos, but we're done at this point. We are done. We didn't get this accent change, which I'm going to do right now. Um, but we're going to add in some logos now. So uh, as you see here, you kind of just make your way across the bottom uh, tabs. So next up are our logos. And we may or may not have all of the logos that Matt put into his design in our tool. And that's the case for you. It's not a big deal. We grab those logos from you uh, after the logo, after the, the, the order is in and we get them incorporated into your design. All you have to do is hit, hit the can't find a logo button. Type your logo in. Okay. Uh, Hit enter, change the color, whatever you want to do, reposition, drag and drop, you know, whatever you want to do. And that's all you have to do. That, that, that way we know um, that we've got a logo there that we don't have in our database. We'll grab it from you after the order. So let's jump in. Um, so let's toggle back over. Let's start with the top of the tunnel, make our way along the side of the tunnel, tank, and then along, to, along uh, the way up through the... Uh, side panel and then the hood so here we go okay so matt matt ha has his free rider logo on here all over the place <clears throat> in different versions in the full version of his logo and then just the bar uh free rider version so you just come into logos we'll type in free rider on the back um of the Tunnel, we have his logo and a lot of his logos um, are kind of in this uh, turquoise color as well and so 
I may not get get these resize obviously like exactly to the size he has it on his actual wrap, but we'll get pretty close. Okay, um, there we go. We've got that. So now we're going to pop into the the tunnel length on the 155. With this, it's actually just a personalization uh, feature. So you can toggle over to personalization. This is if like you want to add in, let's say your Instagram handle or a nickname or a number. So we'll put in 155. We'll add that in. We're going to change the font to, we're going to do this one. So we'll run it uh, black here for now. One thing to know is if we can obviously do outlines, but the, our, the wrap customizer tool uh, doesn't, <clears throat> doesn't do an outline yet. We just work with fill color. So if this was my wrap, I would just say in my, in my note, in my order notes that I want white fill black outline or, or clear fill black outline around the 155. So we've got that. Now let's, let's look at the, the logos here. So we've got Marlon Munster full speed. We'll start with those make our way up. Here we go. So just sit back, relax and enjoy. I'm just going to, I'm just going to pull logos and throw them into the design. So just like with, um, you know, with the wrap colors, you can change the colors of the logos as well. Uh, one thing, if you don't need to worry about, like if, if all of these logos are the exact, um, the exact alignment or like grade slant, we'll match all that up. We'll clean it all up for you uh, when we send you a mock-up. All right, so here's an example of a logo that we don't have in our online database yet, not a big deal. Uh, the full speed, I'll, I'll add it here and show you. So we'll make it white like the others. I don't really care about the font because it's not supposed to be font, it's gonna be a logo. And I will send that logo to my good friends at DeviantInc when I get my order in. Okay, we're moving right up. We've got Backwoods 509. So here's a good example of um, another thing to look out for. So depending on the, the company or brand's logo, you know, the, the file that we get, that we have on, on hand, some of them, um, they're, they're in a, a file type that we can't really do much with. We can't edit. Uh, maybe they're multicolor. They've got outlines. They've got all sorts of stuff. Uh, this, the Royal Distributing one is um, an example of that. So as you can see, we do have Royal distributing on here. We can adjust it to, you know, better align with your wrap colors. All we gotta do is make a note of that. Hey, color match all my logos. I want the logos on the tunnel to all be white. And, um, and we can do that. No problem. So here we go, folks. We've got the, the tunnel top. We've got the tunnel side dialed in. Let's go and grab our tank real quick. Okay, we've got the free rider logo on the tunnel. Sorry, on the tank. We're gonna grab another free rider films logo, throw that on the side panel. Okay, we've got that. Now there are some logos in the um uh, there's some logos on uh some small logo placement right below the uh the pull cord. Um, as you can see right here, we have Marlon 509, Munster, Royal, and and uh, Backwoods. I may only add a couple of those in. You guys would get the point. Um, but for the sake of, you know, uh, the video here, um, I'll grab just a couple of them. We'll grab our Marlon. 
back in here. It was white again. Make it super small. And we will toss it in. We have five, we'll do 509 in Monster real quick. Once again, you know, obviously you could do this all on your phone. Uh, it's going to be a little bit harder because you're using your fingers to pinch and move around rather than a mouse. Uh, it's, it's possible. We've done it before and customers do it all the time. If you're working with a lot of logos though, it does help to be on a, on a desktop. So plus you can hit the, the zoom in button over here in a minute and I'll show you that. Okay. I'm just going to add in this monster real quick. Okay. And then I'll just show you the, it'd be this right here. So this little section right here, we would go down and we'd, we'd add Royal and backwoods. Um, there's also an altitude uh, power sports logo down there at the bottom. I don't think we've got their logo. Let me just double check. Nope. So we will do that same thing. I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll add it like that. Boom. Make it white. Pop it down. Just like that. Okay. All right. Now I think we are on to the, we're on to some branded. So we'll go Polaris. Come grab the Polaris logo. And I think that one was a, was a, was a type of gray. It might've been the graphite or the mid gray actually. You can also say, Hey, put the dang Polaris logo in the stock position and we'll do that. If you're, you know, don't, want to make sure it's lined up. So once again, it's gray with the black outline. Okay. So there are no order notes. We just say, Hey, I want the Polaris logo to be that uh, mid gray color and stock position and black outline. Not a, not a big deal at all. And let's say you forgot to say that you're going to get a mock-up. You're going to remember, Oh, I wanted the black outline um, around my Polaris logo. And then we'll do it. We'll do it then. Okay. Now let's work on, uh, we'll start with the belly. We'll come in here. We'll grab that. We'll grab our free rider logo again. Boom. I believe this one was black. Let's do a double take real quick. Toss that in right there. Yep. Great. We've got free rider down hood and those were also this guy okay so when you get those placed once again we'll make them the same size any logo we put on one side uh, it gets mirrored to the other side so we've got the, the free rider down the nose Let's um, take a look at this. Oh, we've got to get the 9R in. Up there, we've got that one. And then we will be on our way to the windshield pieces. And we will be done. So let's grab the 9R. So we do have the 9R. But um, that goes right there. I think we did. Yeah, right up there in the nose cone. Okay, and then we've got Freerider and Muskoka Freerider on opposite sides of the windshield. So let's grab this guy real quick. We'll toss him over here. Do a quick resize. I believe this one was on the top. We'll double check that real quick. top yep and as you can tell there's a black outline around it so we'll go personalize we'll grab another and we'll take it I'll put it right along the bottom piece on that windshield okay the one final look over here and I believe we are solid, ladies and gentlemen. We are solid. Obviously, there'd be a couple more logos right here. 
Okay, we can hit the plus. Let this load up nice and big for us. So once again, you know, if when you're really playing around with this, um, dang, that looks good. Looks real good. Um, you can look up here and say, oh, the free rider logo um, up on the wind, wind, uh, windshield. We could bring that down a little bit. Um, if you were, you know, you could make, you could make the 509 a little bit clearer here. Uh, zooming in like this will just help, um, kind of reposition. If you only want like a piece on a, a logo on a certain piece, you could dial that in too here. Um, but we are good. We're going to exit out of this. The next thing you do is you want to save this build to your account and then you can share it out right here. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a little bit longer than I thought. We'll just see if we can speed it up next time. Uh, but that's the, the overcast. That's the Muskoka Freerider wrap tutorial video on Matt's 2023 uh, sled wraps that he ran. Thanks, guys.